Envision this. Two people fall over in the same place in the same way. They both get cut, they both get hurt in the same place on their body. Is the wound the same? No, of course it's not. It's about how they fell over. It's a personal experience. It's a different wound. Maybe they're bleeding a little more or less. Maybe the cut is slightly bigger or smaller. Maybe it's slightly deeper or shallower. Whatever it is, there's a unique cut. So when two people go through the same experience, why do we assume that they're going through the exact same thing? How many times have you been like a Google autofill when someone's talking about their problems, right? This person, you're sitting opposite them, they're talking through their challenge, they're venting, they're opening up and your mind is already like autofill, filling the rest of their sentence, right? Predicting what they're going to say because you've heard that problem before. You've heard about that challenge before. You've heard it a million times. But guess what? The greatest art in listening to someone's pain is recognizing that their pain is unique. Even if someone fell over in the same way at the same time as another person, their cut will look different. Their wound will affect them differently. But we judge and presume every single day that two people who go through a breakup have the same experience. Two people who go through a divorce have the same experience. Two people who go through moving a country or whatever challenge that they have have the exact same experience when in reality the truth is, it's a totally unique experience for each and every single one of them. And that's why the greatest art of listening is to be able to listen with fresh ears and fresh eyes. When you can listen to each and every person you come through with fresh eyes and fresh ears, you give them an opportunity to learn and grow and you give yourself an opportunity to learn and grow. So often we block ourselves from growth because we're autofilling. We just predict, presume, assume, judge, and hope that we already know what someone's going through.